Hey, sweet gang, it's your girl Rochelle in the building and I'm coming to you with another video. In this video, I am going to show you how to create cream cheese filling for your stuffed chocolate apples. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell to let you know your girl Ro is on. And we're going to get right into the video. Also, this is a live recorded video. If you enjoy this video, please leave a comment in the comment section below and just let me know. And we're going to get started. First, I want to talk about what I have, the supplies I'm using. I'm using my stand mixer and I got my spatula and I got me a knife. This is a serrated knife. My paddle attachment, cream cheese, one block, which is eight ounces, one stick of butter, which is salted butter, a half cup of powdered sugar, and some chocolate, some Snickers, just to cut up to show you, you can add to your filling. Piping bag, and also um, a star tip, so that you can see the design. I am doing this video to show you how stiff you can create this filling so that you can pipe it in and give it a little decoration at the top. So you ready? Let's get started. Let's go. First and foremost, you want to take out your cream cheese and let it sit um, at room temperature. You It needs to be soft. Okay. And your butter should be at room temperature. This recipe can be doubled. It also can be flavored. Also, um, I got to get my cookie nip, of course. We can't forget about the cookie nip. This is a flavoring. It's a buttersweet blend of vanilla bean and salted caramel. And whatever you use vanilla extract in, you can substitute the vanilla extract and use this. This is a secret recipe secret weapon to recipes trust me all right so i'm going to be adding a one teaspoon of that to my filling all right so we're going to open up our cream cheese add it to your mixer And just taking your spatula and scrape it on in. Now is your choice. Remember, this is a recipe of choice. You want to double, you can double. You want to add more too for flavoring. Um, it's totally up to you. All right. But this is just a simple recipe to just stuff the apples. You don't want it like extra sweet. For those that want extra sweet, <laughs> they put in frosting. All right. So once you have added that, then you add in your softened butter. Not melted, but softened. Soft to the touch where it just dented in just a little bit, okay? So don't throw it in a microwave to soften. Just take it out for um, an hour or so so that your butter can soften. One stick going right in. Adding my paddle attachment. Okay, and you just add in all your ingredients. Okay, um, half a cup of sugar, half a cup of powdered sugar. Let me correct that. Half a cup of powdered sugar. sugar. Add it. So I'm going to cream together these three ingredients on medium. And you just turn it up gradually okay you're gonna have to stop in between to scrape down the side of your bowl okay so I just generally turn it up to a higher speed and bring it back down okay taking my spatula making sure you get the bottom so that all the ingredients can be well combined Okay. 
okay? Make sure you get the cream cheese and butter out of your paddle attachment so that everything can be well incorporated uh, when you begin to mix again. Trying to get all of it there. All right. And I usually take, if I got a lot on my spatula, I just scrape it right on the paddle attachment, the bottom of it, and turn it back up on medium. And just gradually turn it up. Now I'm going to add in one teaspoon of my cookie nip. Okay, this is a half teaspoon measure, so I'm going to do it twice to equal out to one table, one teaspoon. And just blend and mix together. Remember, this is filling, so I'm going to stop it so I can scrape down my sides. If you over mix, it will become soft. It will become runny, so just keep that in mind to not over mix it. So I'm just turning it up. for a minute or so until I see that it's a little stiff. Stop. Pop it up. You can test it if you like. Okay. And then you're ready to add it to your bag. All right. So I'm going to put in my piping tip. And this is a star tip that I'm using. Putting it in and just cutting it down so that it can fit. Snug. This is um, a large pipe piping tip. Okay, I will put the link in the description box below. And you scrape enough down and just add it right to your bag remember this is filling this is not cheesecake it's just filling that's going to go in your stuffed apples okay as I'm making a mess here So if you want to add chocolate, you just cut up the chocolate at uh, your Snickers, whether they're miniature or um, just the regular size. Cut them down in small chunks or you can use um, a small chopper or something and just chop them up but you just cut it down and you just add them to your cream filling just simple as that real simple 
had questions about this filling so here I am showing you how to create it and show you how stiff it can be okay so you create it to your liking as so and add as much as you want and just mix it on in so whereas you are putting it in you can mix it in or you can add it straight to your apples okay and just fold it on over into your mixer all right so once you're ready to go you take that stick out using your melon scooper and scoop out that apple the center of it making sure you get all of that core and the seeds out to keep it from browning on the inside just use some lemon juice and a brush and brush the lemon juice right on in the inside you don't need a lot just a little bit all right taking your piping bag pipe in your mix and just come and swirl around just like that okay and then swirl at the top and just add boom real simple all right so if you haven't already seen my previous video on how I made these go check it out I will leave the link in the description box for you or go straight to my channel and check out um, that link also for the flavoring cooking nip I also leave the link in the description box below if you have enjoyed this video quick video of how to make this cream cheese filling leave a comment in the comment section below and it's your girl Ro about to go and I hope you enjoyed I see you all in the next video bye bye